Hey everybody, Brent here. I'm just here to do a real quick uh, collection update for everybody. First of all, I'm going to just start with a couple of replacements that I've made over the last month or so. The first being um, Pink Floyd's Pulse. I used to have this on CD. Uh, I don't know whatever happened to it, if I loaned it out or what. But needless to say, I don't have it. And I came across this online for about 10 or 12 bucks. So I thought, well, I can't uh, argue with that price. So I picked it up. Also, back in, I think it was about 1990, Led Zeppelin released a box set. And uh, I used to have it on cassette. And it, I think I wore every cassette out eventually. And I happened to stumble across this on eBay. And this is, of course, the box set on CD. I think it was 25 bucks it cost me from a, a local guy here. So I picked it up and, wow, I bring back memories for sure. You know, I've got a few of the original Led Zeppelin albums that were released on CD. And uh, the sound of them is pretty horrific. And this is uh, by no means the best. I would imagine the remasters that the Jimmy Page just did. A year or so ago are probably superior to this but this is a vast improvement over my original CDs and a nice addition to my Led Zeppelin collection. All right let's get into the new stuff. Uh, first one let's go to Norway and talk a little bit about a group called Dispatcho. Uh, about two weeks ago they released I believe it's their 10th studio album called Soyuz and it is the first to feature the original drummer Robert Johansson who left them in 2009 or 2010 but he's back in the fold and this of course is it uh, I'm not going to talk too much about them other than uh, you guys should check them out this is probably one of their more accessible albums and I think if you can get into them from this album then you'll be smooth sailing check it out great stuff from Norway now let's talk a little bit about a uh, progressive metal slash hard rock group from Poland. Of course I'm talking about a group called Riverside. And this is their fourth studio album, Anno Domini High Definition. And it is a, a, to me a very complete masterwork of modern progressive metal. And just about every aspect of a musical recording about as close to perfection as it gets. Um, I know this album won't get, you know, the, the praise that it deserves just due to probably the, the exposure of it. But I would hold this in the same claim as um, ACDC's Highway to Hell. Um, Fleetwood Mac's Rumors, um, Sgt. Pepper, of course. I'm not comparing it to those albums, but it should be a household name. And of course, it's not. But uh, if you guys ever want to get into good, good music with a lot of soul and very intelligent, check these guys out. And carrying on with Riverside, this is the album that follows immediately after that. And this, of course, is Shrine of a New Generation Slave. Um, it's not as busy as uh, Anno Domini High Definition, for sure, but it's a little less heavy, but no less immediate. Um, it's probably more accessible, I would say. There's probably a little more songs on here that people could take away and really, what's the word, really own, call their own, I guess. You know, namely, you know, namely to me, um, well, what's the song called? Sorry, guys. We got used to us. I want you guys to check that song out. And that's what I mean. That's one of the songs that you can own. All right. Now, let's go back across the pond to America. And I'm talking about uh, Veteran Progress Box Beard. And uh, this album is a live album from the X tour and of course the X album that he's referring to was the uh, last album with uh, Nick Derviljo playing drums and handling lead vocals. This is kind of a, 
a memento of that time period of I call it Spox.20. You can see this um, fairly cheap, so if you do see it, pick it up. It's not the most excitable live album, I'll give you that. But like I said, it's, it's a nice piece to add to your collection. So anyways, check this one out if you haven't. And um, of course, the next album I want to talk to is their new one. Of course, and this one's called Noise Floor. And this is a very highly melodic prog album, and it has a plenty of songs written with the technical prowess that we're all used to. And it has flashes of very definite classic Spock's beard uh, to make the older fans uh, quite happy. And I think they've excelled at that, and I think they've done a very good job at it. But there's enough new elements to keep the music interesting, and the pop sensibility on this album is second to none. So check these guys out. Check this album out if you're familiar with Spock's beard. You won't be disappointed. And I hope to get up a review of this album, hopefully before too long. But of course, you know, summer's here and time's a little more valuable. All right. One last thing to talk about. And this is, uh, of course, I'm a big Neil Morris fan. Of course, he was in Spock's beard and he's in the Neil Morris band. And... Transatlantic and Flying Colors. This is his most recent release and this is a, um, a singer-songwriter album of his. It's not prog by any means but it just shows that uh, he is one of today's, this generation's musical geniuses and that he can interweave and do just about any style under the sun and make it remarkable and excellent. So if you like that type of thing, um, the singer-songwriter aspect of things, pick this up because it is an excellent al album. Alright guys, once again, you know, take care of each other and look after each other and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.